We believe that the community is the true custodian of the environment as they are the direct beneficiaries of everything good that the environment has to offer them and suffer directly and immediately when the environment degrades. Hi, I'm Leena Dandekar and I'm founder of Raintree Foundation. Raintree started with the family wanting to give back and uh, we had a liquidity event uh, when we exited our family business and uh, the children uh, who's Abba 29, uh, Vivek who's 26 and I sat down and said how do we use uh, now what we have to give back to society and to uh, nation building in a way. So Abba came with a very conservation led view, she wanted to work on uh, forests, on uh, conservation on wild animal conflict, uh, building corridors between uh, natural uh, forests uh, and reserve forests, etc. Vivek came in with a larger view. He talked about climate change, he talked about carbon sequestration, global warming, uh, clean technologies, uh, and moving towards greener solutions for the planet. I realized that if we have to work on a model which brings uh, prosperity to people, and if you are looking at working amongst the farmers, and people who depend on the land, then it is extremely important to work on environmental aspects as well. And that gave birth to the rain tree model, which is you know based on the mantra of dignity for planet and people. So rain tree adopted a slightly differentiated model of development. It is a landscape model. A landscape model essentially takes a, a def defined geographical area. What we do is look at the well-being and prosperity of that landscape. So the, it includes environmental prosperity, community prosperity, as well as individual prosperity. So we work on all of these simultaneously. So what we will be doing uh, in this pilot is doing about uh, 47 to 49 years of work in, in a seven to eight year span, because what we would normally do separately if we were to work on separate thematics, are running concurrently in a very holistic and integrated manner. We hope to work in a manner in which one day the community is custodian of their natural environment and both benefit in a balanced, holistic give and take. Uh, at the heart of everything that we do is of course climate action and environmental work, uh, but we also integrate with that um, causes such as gender uh, inclusion for marginalization, disability. Sustainability is a very strong word for us as well. That's one more lens where we look at economic and environmental sustainability, but we also look to see whether local institutions like the Gram Panchayats, the self-help groups, etc., can continue what we started beyond our exit. And we're looking at long-term sustainability of our work um, as a lens during uh, our design process as well. Rain Tree Foundation has been funded by the family so far as it has been in a pilot phase. We did raise external funding last year for some specific projects that we were implementing and that has worked out very well for us. I think India is still in its early stages of uh, large philanthropic action on climate change and environmental work. Uh, but we have very strong, very committed organizations such as the AVPN, the India Climate Collaborative and others steering the attention towards climate action and converting more and more people from traditional philanthropic uh, practices to uh, move towards climate funding as well. I'm Amma Dandekar and I'm one of the co-founders and directors of Rainty Foundation. What I would say to the next gen or to you know other people my age and younger, we can see the effects of climate change in our everyday life. There's wildfires, floods, uh, you know, rainfall patterns are changing, there's droughts. And this is just our generation. When you think of future generations down the line, if this is the world that we live in, what kind of world are we leaving to the people who come after us? And I think for me, that's a very sobering reality. It's not just one person. This doesn't just affect an individual. It affects everyone. And so we do really need to work on this collectively and make it a very urgent priority for all of us.